The sum of a number and its square is 182. Find the number. Okay, well, when, when they say a number, that usually tells us that we're just going to let that be our variable. A number, that's pretty generic. Let's call it x. Sum, remember the word sum means plus. Okay, the sum of a number and its square. Its square. So we're squaring the number. Is, is translates to equals 182. So what we have is the sum of a number and its square equals 182. And that's what we solve. Okay, the thing to remember here is x squared on one side, you need to get equal zero on the other. That's important. So let's rearrange this a little bit. We have x squared plus x minus 182 equals zero. Here we have a trinomial, x squared plus x minus 182, that we need to solve. Uh, so we need to factor this thing. Let's do it. Um, negative 182 up here and 1 down here. Okay, here's a trick. When, when this is negative, when your C term is negative, let's see, so let's see, we need factors, before I go into that, we need factors of 182, negative 182, that add to the number 1. Okay, so when this is super small, right, you don't want to start with like 1 and 182. That's going to take forever. When this is small, like 1 or 2 or 3, start in the middle. Okay, so here's the key to this. Start in the middle. Start in the middle. How do you find the middle? Take the square root of 182. Don't take the square root of negative 182. That's going to give you a hard time. When I take the square root of 182, I get about 13.5. So I'm not going to start there, but that tells me to start around 13. So let's just start with 14. And sure enough, if I divide 182 by 14, I get 13. That's a quick way to jump right towards the factors that will work when these numbers are small. So when, when small, this works. 1, 2, 5. You take the square root, and that kind of gives you an area to start. I just guessed and started with 14. You could have started with 13, but take the square root to get a ballpark of where to start, and then you can factor from there. Um, so this does it, right? We need to work out our negatives. We want this to be a positive one, so I'm going to make the 14 positive, the 13 negative. So we'll factor this as 14 times negative 13. Um, multiplying those together gives us 180, negative 182. Adding them gives us 1. So plus 14 here, minus 13 here, and then our factored form is x plus 14, x minus 13 equals 0. Okay, so that gives us x equals negative 14. I'm setting each one of these equal to 0. Um, and we have x equals 13. Okay, so it looks like this has two answers, right? So both of these, the sum of a number and its square equals 182. Can it be possible? Yeah, test it out, and you'll see that that is indeed the case. So we have two answers here. This works for negative 14 and for 13.